Hello, 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 people. Hello, Zambia, hello, Zambia, hello, Zambia, hello, Zambia. Long time, long time, long time. How are you, Zambia? How are you, people? How are you, my people? How are you, my Zambian people? How are you, Zambia? How are you? How are you, Zambia? Zambia, 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 Zambia. How are you, Zambia? How are you, Zambia? How are you, people? I missed you, everyone. I missed you, everyone. Share this pod. Share this video. Share this video. Let the world see that you know we're back. You know, and uh, mm-hmm. God is on our side. God is with with me. God is with, is with everybody. Yeah, it's it's been a long time. I was live, right? Yeah, it's been a long time. It's been a long time. So share this video as much as you can, and let the world see that Chela Tukuta is here. Chela Tukuta is here, 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 here. So, how are you, my people? How are you, my people? How are you, my Zambian people? Oh my goodness. I missed you people too much. I missed you too much. I missed you a lot. I missed you a lot, my people. And, uh, you know, we just thank God that, you know, we are safe. I'm here. I'm safe. I'm okay. I'm fantastic. You know, um, I want to start, first of all, by thanking God for giving me an opportunity to experience what I experienced. You know, a lot of people become bitter about an experience or something and feel like, you know, what, 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 but you know what? Every everything that happens in life happens for a reason, for a purpose, and we ought to to you know ish, we ought to to thank God for every circumstance, for everything that happens in our lives. And for me, I want to thank God, you know that you know for speaking out the truth for speaking out for the people you know i was arrested taken into custody went through whatever i went through it's all praises to god it's all praises to god you know and um i want you people to 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 to, uh i want people to know something that you know what if god be for us who can be against us? Nobody. Now, I want to first of all start by thanking uh, the police officers, you know, uh, that, uh, you know, it's it's amazing that uh, the police officers handled me very well, you know, and, um, you know, when you're speaking for people, the people themselves will stand with you. And some of the people that I was speaking for uh, the same police officers, the civil servants that I was speaking for. And these people, you know, were like, you know what, Chela, you really, 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 really uh, spoke for us. You know, uh, one thing I'll tell you about life is that when you are speaking for people, you never know who you are speaking for, you know. And I was arrested you know, for calling out corrupt people, you know, and those corrupt people, you know, people are corrupt and wrong, and they say, or, oh, you know, uh, you've, whatever it is now, some of the cases I can't speak about them because they're in the courts of law, you know, and uh, I, I don't want to be charged with contempt, but I want you to learn something, and I want you people to get something that Chela Tukuta will continue to be the voice of the voiceless. God took me in the cells, in, the, in those cells, so that I could um, go and listen to the people in the cells. Our brothers in the cells uh, are suffering. You know, our country's justice takes very long. 
you know for some people justice takes long and i was thinking to myself to say we have uh, lawyers qualified lawyers in in offices yet justice takes so long does it mean that people are being incompetent or what so you begin to wonder and ask yourself a lot of questions um, to say why is it that uh, justice takes very long in the country now god took me in those cells in those police custody so that i could go and hear the cries of our brothers and of our brothers in those cells okay and uh, i must confess that there is a lot of cases that i found where people are really 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 detained for some of the cases they are not even aware now i want to say this our police officers are good people but they also work under instructions now when they are working under instructions and they are instructed on what to do by politicians who are cadres you know the problem is that at ministry level we put cadres we put cadres okay and when we put cadres at ministry ministry level those cadres begin to abuse the law and they begin to abuse the people in those ministries so for example if you look at ministry of home affairs it's the cadres at the ministry that have been employed at the ministry and those cadres just instruct our professional police officers to carry out duties now police officers are human beings they've got families they've got families to protect they've got in you know work to protect and all the, and all those things so them they can't uh, really do much because they they don't wanna, they don't want to lose uh, their 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 jobs you know so we've got to respect them and i, I want to commend the zambia police officers here in lusaka at uh, lusaka central police you know very good officers you know really handled me very well uh, encouraged me told me to be strong actually i received more encouragement you know from police officers to say this is a passing phase be strong be you know don't uh uh don't be scared you are a man you are strong and for me i want to state that you know what i'm going to continue speaking for the poor of this country I'm not going to be corrupted, I'm not going to be intimidated, I'm not going to be scared, I'm not going to be frustrated. My spirit continues to be high because we want a better Zambia. We want a great Zambia. A Zambia where our kids when they come to uh when our kids are born or our kids grow up our grandchildren will find that you know what we fought for a great zambia uh, um, and we have to to defend a better zambia for them we have to fight for that great nation so that when they grow up and when they come up these children will come and say you know what our forefathers our ancestors will be obviously will be ancestors by then fought for our independence for a great zambia now i want to mention this there's a lot of poverty in this country and the poverty in this country is too much and because the poverty is too much zambians continue to suffer zambians are suffering there's so much corruption going on in our country we cannot keep quiet there's so much injustice going in our country we cannot keep quiet they don't we cannot keep quiet zambia belongs to all of us and not to a few individuals and i want to tell you something uh, congratulations to madam messi chama uh, messi chama tzesco who coordinated everything i just want you to know that i know that you orchestrated mm -hmm. everything and led to my arrest 
congratulations and uh, you know god bless you but just know that i'm very much aware about uh, those moves and whatever happened now i want to go straight into speaking out for some people uh, especially in the cells to say you know there's a lot of injustice people were telling me to say um, Mr. Chela, I have been in these cells for a long time, three months, four months, and my case has not been dealt with. Okay? My, my, my case has not been dealt with. And I wonder to say, so what is really happening? No, what, 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 uh, my case... I came, I was arrested with this person, this person has come out, me have not come out. Now there's an old man called Kanyanta Kanyanta, okay? 78 year old Vincent Kanyanta. This old man, the son was uh, involved, whatever I was accused of uh, being involved in a robbery. And this father went to visit the son. And when he went to visit the son, you can imagine a 78-year-old man went to visit his son. When he was visiting his son, they were arrested together with his son. And this man had no idea why he was arrested. 78-year-old man. And this Vincent Kanyanta is at Lusaka Central Police. He was crying and telling me, Mwana, what in these cells, I don't even know what crime I committed. When I asked those officers who were arresting me, they just told me, you are going in. Now, he is a poor man from Chipata compound. Poor man. Poor 78-year-old man. No idea why he's in the cells. He continued cursing those police officers that arrested him. They arrested me. They arrested me and uh, um, they've arrested me and I don't even know why they've arrested me. I am crying here, my son, I am suffering. And this man is crying out loud. Can the government hear out such people? I went in those cells to give hope. I went in the police cells to give hope to those who were hopeless. Because my brothers in those cells were hopeless. Okay, so my experience whilst I was in the cells was I became their source of hope and their source of encouragement. Okay, I became their source of encouragement and their source of inspiration. I was the one now encouraging my brothers in the cells to say, you see, God has a reason to why he took me in those police cells. And the mission he took me in there was to preach the message. And that message was the message of hope. And that message of hope, I delivered for them. A lot of people thought, no, this is a bad thing. Chela has been arrested. I sympathize with you. I understand your feelings. But that had to happen for us to complete what we call And in every youthful movement, in any movement, others have to be arrested. Others have to be injured. Others have to be, that's what makes the whole movement, you know, powerful and strong. And I went in there for a reason and for a purpose. And that purpose, and that purpose is to give hope to the hopeless. And that purpose is to encourage those who are discouraged there are people in those cells who lost hope 
You know, when I went there, they started calling me commander. <laughs> they started calling me commander, commander Bachela. You know, when I entered, it was interesting. When I entered the cells, they said the baddest. Yeah, baddest, baddest, baddest is Chela tukuta, chela tukuta, chela tukuta. And you know, it was interesting um, that in there, people knew me. Okay. They knew me. And I was like, Chela tukuta, yeah, yeah. Wakamba, you have no idea. I've always wanted to meet you. I've met you here. We've, I've always wanted to see you. I've met you here. And for me, you know, I found people, you know, they start talking to you. No, me, I'm here in the cells because uh, my boss brought me over 350 kwacha. You arrest people for 350 kwacha, yet they are criminals who have stolen millions from Zambians. Millions from Zambians and they're walking the streets freely and People that only are you know someone is owing 300 quarts And you see you can't you, you know one thing you can't blame the police officers When you hear to say oh some police officers are corrupt and it's not all the police officers that are corrupt When you hear that no some police officers are corrupt you can't blame them. They are conditions of service and not good but i can guarantee you that police officers are good it depends on how you take them when i was arrested i was told you know brother stay calm we are not here to injure you we are not here to what what, what, what. just be calm and i was calm they took me took me to Lusaka Central Police, um, got my phones, my laptops, what, 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 no, for investigations, purposes, we're getting these things. But I could hear that there was one officer who was talking to a politician. No, we've done this. No, we've done this. No, we've done this. And I can confess here that I challenged that officer. To say, oh, so you, you are being instructed by someone. And you are not doing it because it's your will. Okay. So I told him, you know what? Posterity will judge you. Today I may be in cuffs. I was in cuffs. Today I may be in cuffs. But well, tomorrow I will not be in the cuffs. So, I stayed in there for a purpose. So for me, the voice for the poor Zambians, the voice against corruption continues. The voice to speak against the wrongs that are going in our country continues. I would love to thank people that really stood with me, that stood by me. I would love to thank police officers at Ndola Central Police. Shout out to Vachile, Chief of Operations, Ndola Central Police. You used to come and encourage us with the word of God. Vachile, shout out to you. CIO, Chief Investigations Officer, Dollar Central Police, great man. Always listening to the poor people, and those are the people we need. And those are the people we need. And I want to say, CIO Dollar Central Police, good man. May God bless you. You hear the cries of those poor people who are in the cells. You heard their cries. You went and helped them. And those people came out of the police cells. 
small cases you handled those that needed to go to court you spoke and said you you need to go to court you you need to appear before the courts so that your case starts moving cio in dollar central police god bless you mrs tembo dollar central police god bless you all the officers that i can't even mention their names Ndola Central Police, Lusaka Central Police, may God bless you. May God bless you. And I want to encourage every Zambian youth, when you know what you stand for, do not feel like you are being, you know, do not be scared. Stand up for the truth. Stand up for the truth. I knew when I went into the cells, people were crying, telling me, Oh, Chela, oh, Chela, now look, oh, your kids, what, 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 what. I'm not only fighting for my kids, I'm fighting for the kids of even those police officers, of the civil servants that are suffering, of the many millions of Zambians that are suffering. I'm not just speaking for myself. I'm speaking for everybody. And people, people, stop this thing of no. And I'll tell you what. And I'll tell you what. People have a wrong image of the Zambia police. That image you have about the Zambia police is wrong. No, they, they might have, they might poison you, they might what, 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 what. Oh, please. My relatives were bringing me food. Nobody brought me any other food apart from my relatives but where a good thing is a good thing we ought to appreciate a good thing is a good thing we need to appreciate we need to give credit where it is due And you people are saying, no, don't mention the name. You need to mention names of people that are good. When they are good, they are good. When you see something good in people, you need to appreciate it. And for me, I appreciate the good thing in those people. Now, Madam, a Commissioner a Copper Belt. It was interesting when I was on the copper belt in Dollar Central Police. Do you know how foreigners were treated? Now, this is the juicy part. Okay? The juicy part is that when we went to the cells, if we as Zambians we are not allowed to go in with blankets or mattresses or anything, and when you go with shoes, ni chosan sapato. Chosan sapato. But we are the Chinese who was detained at Indola Central Police and came in with shoes. And he came in with shoes. And I, tell, I challenged that Chinese to say, excuse me, the, when you enter in the police cells, you don't come in with shoes. Take off your shoes. We are all equal here. Zambians entered without shoes why should the foreigner come in his shoes the somalians went in i'm not being racial some somalians went in with their with cigarettes they went in with their own blankets their own mattresses and they were treated like kings zambians in the police cells were suffering and foreigners were enjoying i was in those cells
they were enjoying in those police cells. We were there. I was speaking out. I was saying, look, these Zambians, look at the way they are living. Look at the way you are treating the foreigners. You don't touch them, but you come to touch us. Don't touch us. So for me, I speak. I was speaking for the people in the cells. So if you are, if you are scared to speak for the people, it's your own thing. I'm not going to be scared to speak for the poor Zambians. You are feeling worried for me. You are feeling worried for me. Feel worried for yourselves because this country is in a mess. It's in a mess. People were, Zambians were treated like trash in the cells. Somalians, they had their own cases, their own issues in the cells, but they were living in the cells like they were living in Kaya came with their own mattresses. There were only three in, those, in that cell. Yet in the other cells, Zambians were sleeping 10, 10, 20, 15, what, 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 were congested. But these people were sleeping, only three of them, smoking cigarettes. I even developed a cough because I don't smoke. They were heavy smokers. Now, now, the problem is that as Zambians were cowards and my brothers in the cells there were cowards to speak out against these things but when they realized that I was speaking they joined they joined so, yeah true Mr. Chela yes yeah yeah no Mr. Chela uh, what what what, what? You should not be intimidated just because you are in police cells, you are in police custody, and then your voice. They can cage your hands, but they can't cage your voice. The reason why God took me in that place is to hear the problems our brothers go through in those police cells. I was in, it was interesting that... The people there in the cells, they never wanted me to leave. Mr. Chela, when we will go, who will speak for us? Mr. Chela, when you go, who will speak for us? Who will, who will be our voice? They have no food. I had an opportunity of people visiting me, bringing me some food. I started sharing that food because mm -hmm. the, Zambi the police cells, no one gives you food. They don't provide, there's no one who provides food in the cells. I started, I started sacrificing my food. I could cry, could see my brothers suffering. Our brothers are suffering in these places. The toilets stink. The conditions, they are stink. The corruption, the money going out through corruption. Why can they improve those cells? What is so hard about improving those police cells? You need to improve the police cells. Those are human beings you are keeping in there. Those are our brothers we are keeping in there. If you go to Ndola Central Police, this toilet this stinks like no man's business. We started cleaning. I went in there. I started telling the guys, guys, it's us who are in these cells. Let us start cleaning. We started cleaning in the toilets. We started cleaning, pouring water. What? Da, da, da. We, did what we did what we could. And now, it even hurts me. I know, yes, I've, people are happy. I'm out of the police cells and all those things. I'm out on bond. And, but I'm feeling for my brothers that are still out there. Because my heart is still with them. My heart is with them. 
my heart goes out to them and i want to you know i know they can't watch this video but i'm delivering this message to you to say please if there are organizations human rights commission go in those police cells listen to the people's cries listen to our brothers in those police cells some of them they are ill-treated they are beaten badly some people are telling me no me i was beaten badly i was even told to say if you don't accept this case we are shooting you and they say no no i accept it because I accepted because I didn't want to die. Human Rights Commission, do you have time to visit these people? The moment you go in those cells, even because when I went in those police cells, it gave me the strength to even speak more. My brothers in there told me, Mr. Chela, don't stop speaking when you go out. Don't stop speaking because you are the voice that we have. God has brought you in this place so that you can experience this life and you can advocate for us. Justice takes very long. No, my case is still at NPA, National prosecution, authority, whatever it is, they are still looking at my case. People are there waiting. Our brothers are suffering. Our brothers are crying for justice. Mr. President, you are a lawyer. Justice is not supposed to take long. I challenged one of the officers and I said, you know what? The educated should use their education to enlighten people and not to oppress people. You in leadership, use your education, use your authority, use your powers to serve your people and not to oppress your people. Because posterity shall judge you. And the time for reckoning is coming. Today we may be arrested. Tomorrow we may be treated like this. But nobody knows how tomorrow the other days will be. We have seen what has happened to our brothers in Malawi. Let us learn lessons. God took me in those police custody for me to see how my brothers are living. And it is very sad. I used to... Do you know that in the, in the police cells, the moment you start singing gospel songs, Balakanya, yet we are a Christian nation. We are a Christian nation. But in the police cells, we were told you can't Sing. You can't sing. So, um, I know to say Zambia belongs to Zambians and we should not be intimidated. I am so glad that I went in there to learn something. That corruption in this country stinks so much that it has robbed people justice. Corruption must stop. Corruption must stop. Stop stealing from the Zambians and improve the lives of these people. And you, some of you, are just there yapping, 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 yapping. You don't even know what people go through. 
in this cell. What some people go in there with no offense, they don't even understand where they are there. People are suffering. People are suffering. Zambians are dying in poverty. Yet, we have so much resources. But because of corruption, but because our leaders are selfish, they forget. Now, those people who are suffering in the cells, in the prisons, the millions of Zambians that can have taught, cannot afford bags of meal, meal who can afford meals, they are tears, they are crying to God. These people are crying to God. And when they cry to God, God will hear them. God will hear them. God is hearing their prayers, their cries. God is hearing them. And those cries will not go in vain. You Zambians, you may be joking, you may be saying whatever it is because you love, some of you don't take things seriously. But what I'm telling you is very, very serious. That our country is in a mess. Justice takes very long. We should be strong enough to suffer for what is right. I will suffer for what is right. I will suffer for speaking for the poor people. I will suffer for being a voice for those who cannot voice out. Because I want to see prosperity in my country. I want to see success in my country. Zambia is our country. If you are Zambian, you will understand that we deserve better. Unless you are not passionate about your country. I am passionate about my country. I love Mother Zambia. I love my country. When I was in the cells at the court in Indola, the guys there cried to me and said, Chela, you are our hope. You are our voice. You have never been maybe in the cells. You've never been in the cells. You don't know. You'll be joking. You'll be laughing. You'll be doing all kinds of jokes. But I want to let you know and tell you something. That yes, you may cry today because, oh, Chela was arrested. He was in the cells. Tomorrow, it might be you in those cells. And you'll find how bad it is. How long justice takes. You go in those cells, you find how they stink, how they smell, how people are not sleeping. In Lusaka Central Police, there are no mattresses. Ndola Central at least has got some mattresses, but Lusaka Central, no mattresses. And I would love to raise some funds for mattresses and donate. There are no proper blankets. You may be, you may, because you are outside, you may be thinking, oh, everything is okay. I am not here to speak for those who are okay. I want to speak for those who are suffering. Because my calling is to speak for the oppressed, is to speak for the weak, for people that cannot speak for themselves. Because injustice is too much. You can't sing in those cells about God. Even when we are singing, we are singing low. 
I would, we would be sharing the word of God. We would be, those people, oh my goodness. I never saw our commissioner visit those cells. Do our commissioners visit those cells, you know? The minister, does he visit those cells to see how people are living? No. So how would the ministers report to the president to say, oh, the, the, in the cells things are not okay, or this is what is happening? So our brothers are suffering. And I want to tell you something. That this corruption is too much. And for me, I'll continue to speak for the weak, for those people that are oppressed. Because I have faced injustice. You can only advocate for justice if you've experienced injustice. You can only speak for the oppressed if you've ever been oppressed. Because you understand, you can only speak against poverty when you have experienced poverty. The effects of corruption in this country go down and they trickle down and our country is robbed of a great future. Young people in the prisons. We have no people who go to educate those people in the prisons. What is so difficult about our government setting up, taking people to say, go and refurbish those people. When they leave the prisons, when they leave the cells, what do they go out? How do they go out there as? You get people, you put them in the cells. The only game they play is draft. If they're not playing draft, they're just idle. Why can't you go there, find people, University of Zambia, get lecturers or teachers, go in there, psychologists, take them there. Let them start refurbishing these people's minds. Because when they leave, if they were criminals, when they leave, what are they going to do? How do you empower them? They leave the cells. They have no money to go to. They have no money. They have no jobs to go back to. They have nowhere to go back to. When they go back on the streets, they will go and become robbers. Then you take them back to the prisons. You take them back to the cells. You take them back into custody. Zambia is a rich country. We have so many natural resources, mineral resources. Can we stop corruption? Mr. President, these people are crying to God. You are a lawyer. Check the justice system. What is happening to justice for the Zambians? There's no justice. There's no justice. And when we speak, we are arrested. We shall not stop speaking. We shall speak until our voices are heard. If it means us being arrested, rearrested, whatever it is, that will not stop us. Because what we want to see is a better Zambia, is a great country. A country where we shall all be proud and say, stand and sing of Zambia, proud and free. We want to stand proud and free because at the moment we are not proud and we are not free. Zambia is our country. Even our brothers in the cells, it's their country. They deserve justice. They deserve better lives. They may be in the cells, they may be criminals, mm. but real criminals are roaming the streets, 
Real criminals are on the streets driving expensive cars. When I got in the cells, I told my brothers, you are not criminals. The real criminals are stealing money from this country, are roaming the streets freely, driving expensive cars, sitting in air-conditioned rooms. That's where they're sitting. And God is watching them. And God is going to judge you. Because one day, your time Your time to reckon with God shall come. And those who only speak because they are feeding from those that are oppressing the people. Today you may be feeding with the oppressors, but tomorrow the oppressed will be fed. God is listening to their prayers. And tomorrow... Freedom is coming. I did a song whilst I was in custody. And this song goes like, Oh, Mother Zambia, we need freedom. Oh, Mother Zambia, we need our rights. Oh, Mother Zambia, we need freedom. Oh, Mother Zambia, we need our life, oh Mother Zambia, we need freedom. Oh Mother Zambia, we need our rights. Oh Mother Zambia, we need freedom. Oh Mother Zambia, we need our rights. Oh Mother Zambia, we need our we need equality. Oh, Mother Zambia, we need our... And my brothers and I sang this song in the cells. And we said, freedom is going to come. Freedom is coming tomorrow. Oh, freedom, oh, freedom. Ah, freedom is coming tomorrow. Freedom is coming and when freedom comes, and when freedom comes, people shall be free indeed, and people shall express themselves. I love my country, and I will never stop talking. No matter how people will insult or say whatever they want to say, I will not stop talking I will not stop speaking for the voiceless when I went there they ignited a certain spirit in me that has no fear and fear is not my portion Fear is not my portion. God is going to do something for this great nation. And this great nation shall be saved. And Zambia shall be free. And people shall stand proud and free. I love my country. I love Mother Zambia. Every youth must stand up. Every youth must rise up. And speak. You are too scared. You are too scared. Scared. You are too scared. You are scared. What are you scared of? In every struggle for a great nation. In every struggle in a nation, others have to sacrifice their lives. Even for the cowards who can't speak. Even for people who see the wrongs but choose to keep quiet. You see the wrongs going on but you choose to keep quiet. You see things not going well, you choose to keep quiet. 
God is watching you. I praise God and I thank God that for every opportunity, this opportunity that I had, that this opportunity I had was there for me to learn. And I'm still learning. And I want to promise you that my voice my hands can be caged. My legs can be tied. But my voice cannot be tied. You can cage my hands. You can put me in the prisons, in the jails. But my voice shall speak for the poor millions of Zambians that are suffering and I'm thinking to myself will I stop some people told me Chela you should just stop talking against these people who are corrupt leave it to them just leave stop talking about these people I said no the moment I stop speaking against the evils that are going on in my country I'm not being patriotic I'm not being faithful to my country Country. Zambia is my country. Zambia is the land that I have. Zambia is the only country that we have. Is the only country that we have to fight for. I was arrested in the night on the night of Wednesday. I was a close friend of mine, a close person that I knew in the name of Messi Chama. Um, oh, hi, Chela, blah, blah, blah. I want to pick up something, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. But most of the things I cannot speak because my cases are before the courts of law and I don't want them to come and say oh contempt oh he was saying what he was saying what but what I want you to know is that I will not shut my mouth to speak against the wrongs that are going on in my country and I want to state this I appreciate people say that, oh, Chela, there is uh, 30 million uh, for the youths. Okay, just give them to the PF youths. Personally, I'm not interested. I'm not interested in the 30 million. It can be. Thank you for the gesture, but I'm not interested. I'm not interested. In that 30 million. And I'm not going to talk about social media comment commentaries, whatever it is, it is commentators, social media commentators. Some of are not my level and they don't deserve me to respond to them. Who are they? Start telling me, oh, this person was talking about you, Chela, talk about them. I have no time to talk about non-entities like your whatever person people are telling me did you see what this guy wrote about you did you see what these people wrote this person write write about you those who are writing bad about me or whatever it is that's how they feed that's how they survive that's how they make their money the little that I have I'll eat and I want to thank I hear that there's a lot of people that 
uh, called my family members, my sister, my brothers, you know, to say, uh, Chela, oh, we are sending support. Whatever support you sent, thank you very much. Thank you very much. But I want to assure you that I'm here. And uh, my phone number, my phones are still with, you know, they, they're still being you know, under investigations, whatever it is. But uh, I'm sure tomorrow I may get a phone or whatever it is. And I'll keep you updated. I'll keep you posted. But I want you to know something that my, my going into police custody and the experience that I had was an experience that was worth it and it's worth it that's why I will always smile officers were always surprised Tukuta are always smiling <clears throat> I said you can't defeat the spirit in me the spirit in me is always happy others wanted to see me <laughs> you can't And you people say, no, check your phones. My brothers, I've learned so much whilst in there. I was privileged. I was privileged to certain things that I can't speak out here. But I want to thank every police officer. Every police officer, I want to thank them. They are men in uniform. Most of these men in uniform, they can't speak out on the wrong things that are going on in our country. They can't speak out. They are in uniform. And we have to speak for them. So those people who were busy blogging, writing articles, whatever it is, they became Facebook lawyers, Facebook whatever, let them interpret whatever they want to interpret. Uh, what I'm fighting for is a bigger picture. My, my fight is for a bigger picture. My struggle is for a bigger picture, is for a better Zambia, is for a great Zambia. I'm not looking at myself. Even my brothers in the cells were telling me, Mr. Chela, it's very easy. Go and apologize and finish these things. I said, apologize to who and for what? Chela, stop fighting with politicians. I said, I'm not fighting with politicians. I'm fighting the corrupt elements. I'm fighting the wrongs that are going on in my country. I cannot be quiet. No, you're risking your life. I'm not risking my life. I would rather die with a good name that I fought for my country and live as a coward that worst things, wrong things going on in a country that I love so much. I love Zambia so much that I would not want to see my country going on like this. The youths, the youths should realize their place in society and demand what is right, demand for a fair share. Today you come and say 30 million for the youth. Where has this been all this time? 30 million because next year is elections. At year is 30 million. No. So for me, look, you can analyze things from your own perspective. What what it is, speak whatever you want. Hey, jail has got whatever count, whatever it is, blah, blah, blah. Talk about them, discuss them, discuss them. My big, my, my struggle, my vision is a great Zambia. A Zambia where justice for those in the prisons, in the cells, is fast. Because if we have people, look, when you are driving, 
and you have an incompetent driver, that car will be always be moving this direction, that direction, that direction, that direction. Because the driver, not that the driver doesn't know how to drive. No, the driver knows how to drive and has a license. But the driver is not just competent. The driver is incompetent. He can't move that vehicle. So that driver can land you people into problems. So, for me, and my message to everyone, is that I'm okay. And my message to everyone is that I'm not giving up. I will continue to speak. I will continue to voice out. I understand your messages of pity. Your messages of, oh, chill out. Oh. I understand. May God bless you. You can send me messages on my Facebook. I'll read. I love you all and God bless you.